As you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. I am ready for our first FM23 Cup final. Yes, it's only for Carabao Cup, but it's a chance to win some silverware. And I'm very excited. The last time Tottenham won any silverware was 16 years ago. That was them winning for Carabao Cup in 2008. Can we finally bring silverware? There's one team standing in our way, and it's our bogey team, Liverpool. Right, so here's our past meetings with Liverpool. Let's just have a quick overview. We've played them six times. Liverpool have beaten us four times. We've drawn once. So where has this come from? So Premier League last season at our home, we drew two all. And then we lost at Anfield 4-0 in the first leg of semi-final Champions League. And then second leg, we lost 3-2. And then near the end of the season, we beat Liverpool. They already won for the league, but we still beat them. We beat them 3-1. We played very attacking football against them and it paid off. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because the last two games we've played against them this season at our ground, we lost lost 3-2. Our team just plays completely different against this team. Our defence just make stupid mistakes and maybe that's something that actually has influenced some of the changes that I've done this season. Well, second half of the season, which we've already talked about. And they got a penalty as well in third minute. So it was a really bad start for us. Look at this. Daddy reaches 100 games in management. So this is a big, big occasion. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous because I put a lot of effort into this game. A lot of effort and thought have been put into the tactics that we're playing. And I just want to win something. 100th game in charge of Tottenham. Can we do it? Come on, guys. Fingers crossed. Team meeting before the cup final. What are we going to tell them? I expect to win this final and want to see that sort of attitude from every one of you. You don't get to play in a cup final every day. So I want you all to embrace the occasion and hopefully come home with the trophy. I like that one. Everyone's going to be hyping this match up because it's a cup final. Nah. Everyone's going to be hyping up, hyping this match up because it's a cup final. But I don't want you to pay attention to that. It's just another match as far as we're concerned. No, I'm proud of you, all of you reaching uh, this final. And while we obviously want to win it, there are no grand expectations on us doing so. I'm going to put expectation out and hopefully they go with it. They do. Harry Kane's backed me up. The boss is right. This is a massive match for us. Let's give our all out there to get the win. Yes, that is exactly what I want to hear. Well done, Kane. Come on. So we now need to choose our best team. Now, prior to this, I was having a think and this could be my potential team. Kane's kind of been dropped lately. So this is how my tactic kind of lines up now. I've been tweaking this. Ever since we lost to Liverpool, end of our last review video, so end of the halfway stage, we lost to them. I've been trying to think, going, look, okay, this tactic works well. Obviously, we're in our final, we're second in the league, we're still in the Champions League, we're still in the FA Cup, so every tournament, we're still there, you know. But what tweaks can I do just to A, make sure that we win a bit more comfortably, and play to our strengths. And also, because Liverpool are top in this game, we need to combat that without ruining playing against other teams. I did have one in, inside forward. Now I've got two. Still playing with pressing forward. Now, I don't know. In game, I, I change it around. Don't know if I like that. But then if we're pressing, it kind of makes sense. I am thinking about DLF, especially in the big games. I think for DLF probably will work better and maybe have him as a support in this. So he's like attacking there, but he's there as a bit of a cam. They come in as your strikers. Kalaveski, now I used to have him as Mez support. I quite like the thought of him going forward as well. So Mokioko drops back, Kalaveski goes forward and it kind of creates one, two, three, four. Going forward and then you've got Kamavinga shutting the door out and behind Kamavinga. We've got a defensive midfielder. Uh, and then you've got wing backs looking for overlaps as these two go in. And then one ball playing defender and sweeper keeper. In possession, so overlap, play out defence. When we get pressed, and I'm, I noticed this with Man United, is that we was winning. I mean, we played them four times across four games. When we was winning or whenever they started pressing us, we'd be playing out defence and our defence just gets so nervous, doesn't know what to do and we lose the ball. And I noticed on other games as well against Liverpool and so forth. And if we're winning 3-0, people decide 
start pressing us and it really affects our defense. So I thought, you know what, let's just take that out. Work ball into a box. My assistant every game is going, oh, let's change work ball into box because our long shots are just crap. It still hasn't stopped long shots. I still see them, which is a good thing because I do like seeing those long efforts go, uh, going in because they can be a cracker. We're playing slightly wider, high, really high tempo because we want to play just really fast and really fast pressing as well. Counter press, counter, now taking off, dispute. I can change that in game depending where they might be weaker down for wing or they might be weak, weaker playing over the top. Depends on their high line. At the moment, if we've got Mikioke playing as a sport DOF, there's just no point. I've also put in some individual instructions. So I don't normally do this, but again, I'm tweaking, I'm experimenting. We're in that position that we're doing well. Let's tweak to do better. So I'm experimenting, putting shoot more often and roam from position there. That was as a pressing forward. So I'll keep it on as a DLF because actually he could roam amongst us as Kalaveski goes in and finds holes there. No individual instructions on these players. And then defense midfielder, no. I think it's just wing back. So cross more often, shoot less often. I found that once I get there, they was having cracks at goal. And I was like, no, actually pass it. And it stopped them from doing some stupid shots. Picking for team. As you can see, most of the team's on form. But for a big occasion, I kind of want to choose my big players. Put Kane in. And I'm playing in his favorite position, DLF. Kamavinga's not playing. But again, he's a big player. Kelevesky. This is my A team, apart from Perisic. But Rikarlison's, oh, he's playing all right. But Perisic is playing slightly better. I'm going to start off with Rikarlison. Match load is good. I've rested my players in last game. FA Cup game against Blackpool. Now into the sixth round. Why not? And we just got Chelsea as well. But Chelsea is not, not a fear. Not, not a fear like Liverpool and Man City. And even Man United nowadays are doing all right. Sub benches, uh, as you can see, some players aren't happy with me. I left Le Celso out of my Champions League squad. Been playing all right for me. Look at his form, look at his average. I brought in Firmino and I wanted him to bring him into my Champions League squad instead of Le Celso, just in case. Because at that time, Mokioko was not playing great. And then suddenly Firmino comes in. Mokioko started playing better than Kane. Right, I think I'm ready. Let's do this. Who are they playing? I did see somewhere that Salah's out. He is out. That's their best player. But still, they got Nunes, Diaz, Jota up front, Rice, Thiago, Fabino, and for usual. Come on. We're capable. We are capable. We've been playing some good stuff. BFL Cup represents just one of number uh, one of a number of trophies Tottenham may yet win in a potentially silverware laden season. Do you view this as something of a spring ball for further success? Oh yes, if we win this, this is this is a massive spring ball for us. Here we go. And plus this is a big occasion. And was that offside? Or was that just a stupid mistake? A little bit of both. Disallowed, yeah. This is what I mean. Our defence against Liverpool plays dumb football. All right, Liverpool with a corner. Oh, I need to relax. I'm too forward. Oh, is that own goal? Another header. What's going on? Oh, I'm going to have to change up already. To my attacking formation. I had a feeling that's what I probably should have started with. Oh dear, am I going to panic change? Things, if I go 2 0, it's over. Can't believe the far start. Just stupid play. Go on to Kane, come on. No. His form has gone shocking. Nice. Just playing backwards. No. Pressured us. Dumb. Oh, Rice. Awful. Dumb football. We don't play like this against any other team. I don't get it. And they've missing their main man, Salah, as well. Ah, oh, Kane. Not happy. Because this is not the way we should be playing. Oh, Keller. Who is Keller? Gone. Yes. Was that offside? I think it was in line. 
just before half time. Back in it. I haven't rushed to change my tactics. Start picking up a little bit of play. Half time stats, bring them up. We've had nine shots, three on target. We've had five, two. XG shot right up. Clear cut chances, one. Long shots, two to their four. So we're keeping them at bay on net. Passes, as is a little low. This is very good. Da -da -da. I'm just seeing if I can find anything here. Head is one. Wow, our headering is awful. 35% of head is one. Okay, maybe that's something I need to look at. Play for ball lower. Passing directness. Yeah, maybe we play more wide and sh uh, short passing then. And try and combat that headering. Opposition, ask assistant. And that's it. That's the only change I will make. So a bit more narrow short passing to stop us doing long balls. I know we're still looking past into space, but that's fine. Romero. Romero is off. It's playing 6.2. Four for fans. Let's go. They believe in you. That's the thing. We're not for favourites. But it's an opportunity. I want to win it. No. Clear it. Good tackle, says anyone. Ah, oh, and he's lost it. What are you doing? Dumb football. Head up. Ooh. Dumb football. You can tell that I'm nervous because I'm angry. <laughs> Come on. Don't be angry. Oh, what a mistake. What was that? I have to look back at that. I haven't got replays on. Sometimes I wish that I did. We're winning. I'm shocked. When did we go cautious? We're winning. And I didn't even celebrate. Can I celebrate for final whistle? Because I will. Gonna go for a run. Ah, oh, clear header. Come on. Marking is awful. Gone. Kane. Gone. Oh, Kane. Oh, my God. He's got to come off. He's having a... Oh, sorry, but chances like that. Oh, beautiful son. Ooh. Should have put this away. My finger's on for the space bar. Getting ready to make a change. I think it's time for Mokioko. Captain of a final. Missing a sitter. Who's a big game player? Gunry Carlison. Oh, post. Now, it's hard to take Kane off because if it goes to penalties, you want Kane there. It's virtually a guaranteed goal. I mean, he did miss three on a row at one point. It was last season, wasn't it? I mean, Basoma's not playing well. Bring in Benton Core. Easy change. Kamavinga's having a great game. Son's having a great game. Carlison's playing well. Uh, I'm going to actually put him back to cent just central defender. We're not playing out of defence. No point. Kelovesky's not playing well. Could you move Kane into an attacking playmaking spot? It's more of a cam, isn't he? I mean, it kind of is there. It's only because I'm undecided about Kane. I'm going to give him 10 more minutes, and then I think it's Les Elso's turn. It's probably wrong that I should have included him in, into my Champions League squad. Is that going to be for... Worst mistake or best mistake? No, great save, Cobell. Kane's getting tired as well. He's gone up to a 6.8. Yeah, even my assistant's saying take him off. And I'm also going to change that to cautious. I'm not going to go to my cautious tactic. Just change this to cautious. Come on, nine minutes. Can we nick a guarantee? To Rick Collison. Oh, unlucky. Out to Manke, okay. Still putting pressure on them. Oh, it's a penalty. No, Mike okay, has got it. And he found it. 3-1. We're going to win for Cup. For Tin Pot Cup. We're going to win it. Got my first trophy as Tottenham manager. Second season. First trophy for Tottenham in 16 years. Come on. Oh, we're attacking again. That's lovely to see. Oh, unlucky. My thumbnail is going to have to be me holding up a trophy, surely. Safe hands, Cabal. Oh, 
I'm relaxed now. 3 1. And it's over. Is it time to party? First trophy. Yes, beat our bogey team. Yes. Ah, oh, let's watch this. This is for all the Tottenham fans out there, where Tottenham's known as the nearly team. We did it. Yes, it's only Carabao Cup, but you just never know. We're in Champions League still. This might fall to Liverpool season in the league as well. Let's see. Lift it up. I'm standing on the side there. I've got a purple shirt on, purple tie. Not today. Tottenham colours today. Yes. Yes. 3-1. Wow, how bad we was playing though. Good thing is about our team is we can create chances. If we get four opportunity, we will create chances. It's just our defence and that's something that I'm going to try and fix next season and try and become this world-class team because we've got that potential now. Oh, look at that. I'm so happy. I'm going to have to run. This one! Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Just think if I win for Champions League or the league. <laughs> Can I win more trophies? It was a tight game. Tight game. It probably didn't feel like it to me because for stupid defending, out of defence we do, and that's why I told them don't play. But maybe that tweak of playing against Liverpool, playing your narrow, keep the ball a bit, take chances. And we did that in the second half. Obviously got that goal back just before half time, which was vital. And then with those tweaks at half time. We got for two goals and we got for trophy. Uh, only if I knew about that little narrow and short passing. And last times I've played Liverpool, we might have nicked something. Maybe that's it. Oh, it's given me a few more ideas in my mind of how I want to play this tactic. But that's for another day. So 15 shots to, the, to our 16. Obviously, Liverpool was really dominating that at, at half time when we went through it. Seven on target, five on target. Now, I don't know how many more they had. Actually, can we go half time stats? First half. So they've had three on target. Yeah, so nine, three, five, two. And second half. Oh, yeah, that difference there. That was our possession, 47, 53, 47. Oh, yeah. So we brought up our possession. So we kept the ball a little bit more in the second half. That might have created us more opportunities and going playing more narrow. And headers won 60%. Remember in the first half, 35%. So we had 43 opportunities of headering. 115, 15, 43, 30, 50. So actually, we had more opportunities of winning headers, but that might have been pushing Liverpool to play more higher. But we won 60%. Ah, oh, what a changeover. Passes completed. Actually, our passing was better than Liverpool's second half as well. Yes, yes. Average rating 7 to the 6.66. First half, yeah, they were dominating. Yeah, we, we just, that tweet changed it for us. See, little tweaks can do it. But sometimes they don't pay off, so I'm not going to boast. I'm not going to get a big head over being a tactical mastermind because, trust me, I'm not. Outstretched arms, I'm so happy. Congratulations on winning a trophy. That's all I can say. Congratulations, Deepa. What does it mean to win for EFL? This is for fans to be able to win trophies and give them moments. I need to go off and celebrate with a beer or two.